Good morning to you, Angie. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Uh, Dennis Kucinich here, US Congressman, just saying we need to be governed by international law. Uh, from your perspective, do you think military intervention is, is, is needed now? Well, tragically, in 2013, the British House of Commons voted against uh, act direct military action in Syria and was then followed by Obama. The red lines on the use of chemical weapons were crossed with impunity, red lines which were set up by the then US uh, president. And we live with the consequences all of all of that uh, today. What I would say is that this attack could only have been carried out by regime forces. Why are you so clear about that when many others are? What's your evidence of that? Well, it is absolutely clear that only the Syrian regime has the air assets which could have delivered these chemicals. And we've seen from social media pictures the effect of what happened on the ground. Only the Syrians could have done it. Uh, they would almost certainly have had to have the tacit permission of the Russians uh, to do so. There is no one else with the air capacity in the region. And to conduct an attack like this is not just barbaric and unconscionable. It's in breach of all all international rules it's in breach of international humanitarian law and it is certainly a war crime for anyone to use chemical weapons okay. on this way All right, and it is worth mentioning also it is worth mentioning also that that they then came round again and attacked the hospital where these people were being uh, attended to